Achievements in games are usually a badge of honor, a little something to show your progress, your skill and determination. You know, how well you can play the game. And dying in games is usually a bad thing, right? Oh, no. I mean, it takes the opposite of skill and is typically a sign of failure, and you're usually doing everything in your power to avoid this. And then, game developers go and turn the tables on you and have achievements that literally require you to take yourself out. I mean, some of these will be for little accidents and can act as a wee badge of shame. And some are just for fun. I can get that. But when they force you to die over and over again, yeah, this can take some serious work. Anyway, that brings us to our list. Achievements to die for. Now before we get started, if you haven't already, please help this channel out by subscribing and ringing that bell so you don't really? miss any future content. Really? Really? Yes! At number 6, we have the Florida Man achievement from Borderlands 3. Now Borderlands 3 is a blast, literally. It has everything you could possibly want from a looter shooter. It has an amazing story, funny gameplay, and is cram packed with explosive combat. Explosions? Oh! Yeah. Best of all, it holds true on its promise of a bazillion guns. You end up with more unique guns than you could ever have space to manage them. But when it comes to the Florida Man achievement, all you need to do for this is down yourself with a grenade or explosion. Something that Gearbox knows you'll end up doing eventually. This happens more than enough in normal gameplay than you'd care to admit. But obviously the easiest way to get this is to intentionally blow yourself up, even if you do look a little stupid. At number 5, we have the Let's Not Get Caught trophy in Uncharted The Lost Legacy. This acted as a standalone DLC for Uncharted 4 A Thief's End, and instead of controlling Nathan Drake, you controlled Chloe Fraser, a notorious treasure hunter who's helped by an ex-mercenary Nadine Ross, both returning characters from the Uncharted series. They go off on their own adventure to India's Western Ghats to locate the Golden Tusk of Ganesh, and with two female leads, Naughty Dog found it only fitting that they give it a Thelma and Louise inspired trophy. In order to get the Let's Not Get Caught trophy, you need to essentially reenact the famous scene from Thelma and Louise. You know the one, where they drive off the cliff. At the beginning of chapter 4, instead of driving to the right, where the game intends you to go, you tower. simply drive Did straight the over the edge of the cliff. Maybe. Yeah, this will kill you. But thanks to autosaves, we're back at the top of the cliff in no time. And with a nice little trophy for the trouble. At number four, we have The Simpsons with its pawned achievement. Now, The Simpsons is. Yeah, no. I don't think so. Don't need that. that. Alright. At number four, we have Deadpool with the You've Been Coal Slaughtered achievement. Thanks, pal. So, you want to be a little more specific, please? Yeah, I'm getting to that. So for a Marvel anti-hero, he can't really die, can he? I can't believe he's still alive. So the Deadpool game throws in a cheeky achievement for having Deadpool die 10 times in a row in a specific spot in the game. You see, when you find yourself here, at the front gates of Evil! Yeah, here you're gonna wanna fight your way up these floating islands until you get all the way up to the final island. And the key is to not miss and fall to your death, right? Ouch. So, once you have an autosave, simply jump off the island. Geronimo! And then don't use teleport to save yourself. And then from that autosave, you do this again. What? Why? And again. Ugh. And again. Enough already! And then after you've got yourself 10 deaths from falling without using teleport, you get your achievement. I deserved better. Yeah, you're right. Go and chill out for a bit. <laughs> At number three, we have Portal 2, with its good listener and pit boss achievements, both of which require you to make some pretty poor choices. Now, Portal was a near perfect game, and Portal 2 expanded the fun by having two story campaigns one single player and one multiplayer for double the Portal madness. And unless you've been living under a rock, you have to have at least heard of Portal. But in case you haven't, I don't want to spoil this for you, 
So here's your spoiler warning. Seriously, go and play these games. Don't worry, we can wait. Anyway, you should know better than to trust GLaDOS, as there are dead giveaways. She doesn't have your best interest in heart. But in order to get the good listener achievement, you need to go against your better judgement and follow her instructions when you get to this section of the game. Oh what? How, how stupid does she think we are? Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh look, there's a deer. You probably can't see it. Get closer. Later on in the game, they flip the script and have your lovable sidekick Wheatley turn on you. Wheatley quickly turns from wanting to test to trying to kill you. And this is how you can pick up the pit boss achievement. You see, after Wheatley's master plan to kill you fails, he gets quite desperate. Oh, could you, could you just jump into that pit? Would you just jump into that pit for me? You're saying to yourself, why should I jump in the pit? I'll tell you why. Guess who's down there? Your parents! You're not adopted after all. It's your natural parents down there in the pit. Should have mentioned it Obviously you wouldn't normally do this, but if you do go and sacrifice yourself here, you can pick up the pit boss achievement. So pop down, jump down! Oh wow, good, I didn't think that was going to work. So, how are you holding up? Because I'm a potato. At number two, we have the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Crash Bandicoot was one of my favourite games growing up, and trying to 100% the levels while not dying was kind of the point. But it was also inevitable, especially on some of the levels. Now unfortunately, when Crash first came out, achievements didn't really exist, but thanks to these remastered editions, each of the three games got given two death specific achievements, to account for all the weird and wacky ways Crash can get taken out by enemies. And while some can be pretty straightforward, like the Feed Me achievement for being eaten by a man-eating plant, or a bit unfortunate, like being turned into a toad, electrocuted, or being stung by bees, some can get a little complicated, like the Keeping Crash Under Wraps achievement, which requires you to first knock out one of the mummies out of their sarcophagus, and then let the mummy kill you. Or even worse, the Crash Cubed achievement, where you need to ride on a polar bear and run into an obstacle so the crash flies off the bear, but then he needs to land into cold water. But I mean seriously, if they had an achievement for every way crash could die, we'd be here all day. And at number one, we have South Park the Stick of Truth, with its You Bast achievement. I mean, is there anything more synonymous with the franchise than this phrase? Oh my god, he's killing Kitty! You bast and South Park being South Park, it's already filled to the brim with questionable achievements, from being bitten by gingers, to farting on friends, animals, people, or say a Nazi zombie fetus? Yeah, they, they do have a lot of toilet humour in this game, don't they? If it's precious, it means you get a free wish! But not only do they give you a chance to live out this moment, but they also give you an achievement to memorialise the experience. You see, to get this achievement, you need to let Kenny die 10 times in combat over the course of the game. And although you could get this through failing normal combat and having enemies kill Kenny, the easiest way to unlock this is to use his ability called Unicorn Stampede, and then simply don't hit the bugs that come up. Or if you get sick of that, you could always let his very friends take him out. That's up to you, really. Anyway, that's our list guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you know any I've missed, let me know in the comment section down below. Please remember to give this video a like, and subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss any future content. And if you think someone else may enjoy it... If 4 out of 5 people suffer from diarrhea, does that mean that one dude enjoys it? Yeah, no. No, seriously, do come back, please. Yeah, I'll just hang here for a while. Mark, you suck. Hey again, little buddy. Don't do that again. Go ahead, press the button. Press it, press the button. Do press it. We're running out of time. Press the button. Yes, come on. We're so close. Go 
Press the button.